he's got the good movements and the good distance control, but he's not putting his punches together. It's not the same. That's the whole thing. If he could do that again, a little bit more in combination, that, that 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 might be the thing to change this in his favor. I definitely think he needs to pick the intensity up now. He needs to just... Oh! Ooh, that was a head clash. Straight head clash. The sequence... Oh, it seems like it hit his nose. I, I'm, I, I, I'm not wondering. Now, foyer to the nose, that's... Uh, oh, that's a bad... That's, a, that's, a, that's quite bad. Oh, big cuts. It's a break. It's on the that's top a, of the... You reckon that's a clean break, Griggs? Potentially, I haven't seen okay. the shape of the nose, but it's gushing. The blood is gushing right now. Hope Sequence can keep himself safe and not have to battle with that again. You definitely feel that every single jab, every single punch is going to land on that nose now is going to be extremely painful. Look, this is what Sequence said that he's here for. It's championship mentality, and he just needs to keep composed, stay focused, and keep this man off him. Keep him at bay. Don't let him fall in. Don't let him potentially attempt a stoppage in this fight due to an injury of some kind. There you go. He's got him on his back foot, and uh, he's doing what needs to be done to maintain this little injury he's got. And you can see Corbido's marked up as well. If you look at, look at Corbido's left eye, he's got the markings above the eyes, got the markings below that. Not a cut, but he's swelling. A lot of blows have been getting thrown here. There's a lot of aggressive coming forward nature, and the heads have clashed many times. If not on the chest or the chin, you know, now it's actually just on the nose. It, it, there's a lot going on, but uh, Sequence shakes his head saying, it's not going to happen tonight for you, my buddy. Yeah, just getting under that shot time and time again with Sequence. I was just about to say, he's thrown that uppercut, and it presented itself right there. He dips a lot, just Kubito. Interestingly enough, Kubito is an orthodox right now. And it looks like he's trying to change things up now. I wonder if that's going to help him much. Oh, he's sticking out in orthodox. He's going to see how it goes, uh, Aranja. As we know, not, not many Philippines boxers boxing in the orthodox stance. Not at all. And I mean, sequence, he's doing well to adjust to the new style. He's still doing his thing, keeping him at bay, leading off where he can. And uh, I guess even trying to think about his nose, keeping that safe, letting the cut breathe and not have to gush and be a problem for later on. You almost wonder, did Kubito change his stance based on the damage he was taking to this one side of his face that the sequence kept on targeting? Is it a tactical move based on damage? and potentially but I mean it doesn't look like there's anything that he doesn't look like he has a game plan it looks like he's just changed stances and doing the exact same thing as he did in the south pole position coming forward trying to put punches together but falling short because of the range and the ability of Siko looking towards uh, Denmark's corner because his trainer's got the most serious look on his face yet Denmark's got the biggest smile on his face Look, interesting to see as well that uh, how we're going to be working on that cut there with uh, with Seiko as well. It'll be the first time they've had an opportunity to really have a look at it. Let's have a look at some of that slow motion action from that previous round. Maybe we can see the moment in which the, the heads came to... Oh, that's just nasty. I mean, that's just unfortunate. But that is unfortunate. It didn't look like he uh, could did it on purpose. Just throwing a punch. But again, his style is like that. He comes in aggressively. He steps off that back foot and straight head but sequence instant pain right there he shot straight to the Seven ground like, I, I can't imagine nine. how painful that must be but you know we're in the sport here you know he's he, as, as you mentioned Boxing. rightfully he asked for these type of situations he asked for these big fights let's see how he, how he reacts to such situation it was early in the round that that happened and I mean he came out of it in great fashion he managed the the range he was able to keep Denmark off of him and he was able to keep safe and out of a, a clash to potentially cause more damage to that cut. So uh, he's doing what needs to be done right now, HPJ. 
That's true, that's true. Denmark missing a lot of punches over the top there. Sequence kick oh, to the body. Nice body shots. I would like to see that. A little bit more of that at least. Well, he started smiling at the crowd. He looked straight at Casper in your vest in the crowd, and Casper started laughing right there. And that right hook to the body. And left up a cup upstairs. Looks like Sequence is showing us a different layout of himself. As he pulled wheels out to the corner off the rope. Beautiful work. He's starting to get better and better this sequence. It's a highly skilled athlete, Russia. It's wonderful stuff, and It's good. It's great to see, you know. I think our local talent is definitely rising. Each and every time we come out here on the ESPN platform, we see the guys coming and bringing their best. The ladies as well. It's been such a beautiful one this year. And uh, the sequence is topping it off with this main event. No, exactly. I mean, look, this is, this is what she wants. If you want to become a champion, you've got to win it comprehensively. And he's most certainly doing that. Very nice. He peppers some light punches upstairs and then... Big left hook to the body. But there was Denmark landing the overhand right now in the orthodox. He's landing a beautiful shot right there. So now sequence, sequence's movement as he goes to the left hand side. This is where Denmark wants to drop down. This is where Denmark wants to look for that overhand right. This is around about the time that he could potentially get him to run onto it. Oh, that jab just stopped Denmark in his tracks. There's that body work again. Denmark's encouraging him to come forward. You know, and we oh, saw Sequin stopping his last opponent on ESPN with a body shot. Of course, diff like different levels, though, in boxes. Different levels. Look, he, it seems like he's confident in that body shot. He threw it a few times, and it, it looked like it had some heat on it. I'm not sure why he doesn't let it go a bit more, but maybe he understands that he's got a tough uh, competitor here in front of him. It's not going to be as easy. And a one-two combination that sequence is able to put together. They finish with the uppercut there. And even though Kubito comes back with the counter, sequence just... just want to again thank our fans and viewers in Asia and the Philippines for tuning in tonight. And all our viewers across Europe and Africa. Okay, break, break. Uh -huh. Don't hit below the belt. Well, it looks like just uh, going to have to feel him on the outside there, Sequel, just backing up, backing up, backing up, looking for the perfect opportunity to snap with the, with, with the, with the big shots. And again, Kubito has now gone back to Southpaw now as well in an interesting turn of events. I think he just tried something out, saw so if it worked, didn't really get much success as an orthodox, and decided to go back. So he's getting that southpaw stance, maybe a little bit more comfortable. But I mean, ten rounds in, uh, three back. What do you think he can? What do you think he can potentially bring here? And I mean, it's been the same story. Come forward, try and land a big shot. Get discouraged by the movement of Siko, and then reset. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't feel like he has more than one or two gears, you know, that's the that's the reality. But there's still a, a, an opportunity to bank on that overhand left and the right hook. It's been his two punches. You know, we've seen uh, Kubito jabbing as well, but the jab hasn't really been an effective punch for him because Sequence is never there to, to, be, to be receiving it. Look at this quality boxing on the inside. You're right, Hayden. He's not there to receive the punch. He, he's able to even be inside. And, oh, there. Slips off two beautiful punches. Just in the moment right now. 
Oh, some beautiful work there from Sequence. Looks like he's flowing. It looks like he's in his rhythm. He's found the sweet spot, and uh, it's going to be hard to find him effectively right now. Well, this is both of their biggest steps of their careers. Both the biggest part of their careers, and only one man is going to get his hand raised at the end of this. Denmark still got choppy shots. He's still got it. very heavy-handed punches. Look at that left hand as it comes down the middle. Can you imagine what that would do if it, if it were able to find the target effectively? <laughs> well, a nice little, a nice little moment there. I don't think they understood each other, but you no know, sequence at least tried to say something to him. If you're looking at, if you're looking at the two sequence, having a good time. Yes, there's this fluidity that he's found within the boxing he's been able to be i guess just adapting in the moment right now a little bit of a toggle a little bit of a jiggle there but again going Second back on your comment i think they're both very humble gentlemen you know we in here today and even when sequence said that he, he almost said in such a humble manner that you you said well you know that makes sense it makes sense i mean he should take his Opponents to the airport tomorrow, but <laughs> we know what he meant behind that. Ah, break, break. Step back. Obviously, we didn't get to, to do the face to face yesterday between the two boxes. Uh, De Denmark in his camp, uh, unfortunately, not speaking English, but you know, they speak the language of boxing, which is what they're doing here tonight. Beautiful oh. left hand there from Denmark. The punching power is sustained from both men all the way through. No one's really burnt out. No one's got tired. The pace is still the same. This is a big achievement. And uh, shows that they are incredibly prepared for this WBO title. And you just get flashes of, of, of just big punches landing and, you know, uh, fight changing in its momentum. Again, another good shot there from Kobito. But Sequence has been on high alert the entire fight, not even since the, the injury to his nose with the head, but you know, you almost think it would amplify and he'd go on the defense. But he's, he's left it the same, you know, he's continuing like another day at the office. There's a jab, right hand that lands as well. Very solid punch. He catches the left hand from Kubira as he dips to the side and he's able to catch on the backhand. Nice defensive skill there from Siko. And there Kubira just not landing. You know, he just wasn't there for that big left hand with sequence. Side, 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 side. Nice movement there. I think we're seeing the unearthing of a talent. You know, yes, he's been around in the South African circuit, but I'm talking about on the international circuit, you know. All the international boxers are going to start taking notice of, uh, of Siko after this fight. I don't think they're going to have to, you know, once, uh, and, 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 and again, you know, one punch can change the fight, so I'm not going to count Kubita out right now. He's still got power in his hands, so maybe let me not, let me not uh, <laughs> answer that if you don't mind, Aiden. We've got one more round, and I don't want to jinx. Uh, no, but I mean, like, okay, let's, let, let's take it based on, like, right now. Let's yes. say, yeah. Let's say the fight ended now. The turn to the final round. Shake hands. Here we go. The ultimate championship thing for me. And uh, he's a victory in Kubito's favor. I don't want to count the man out, you know. Of course not. No, I understand what you mean. I mean, look, we were looking at a live, dangerous opponent, an undefeated 12 and 0 boxer in Kubito. You know, give him his respect. I understand that. But what I've seen in this fight is Siko taking him apart and just manipulating him uh, at his own will. Whether or not, as you said, 
if he goes on to not get knocked out or something like that in this last round, he's been so impressive this evening. Very, very, and it's still with a strong Kubino in front of him. He's hungry, he wants something to happen, he's still trying. He is still trying. You know, that's the nature of the man, Kubito. You know his quality. We definitely knew he was quality coming into South Africa as well. It was just a matter of can sequence step up to the international level and for me he's answered that question as a resounding yes. Still firing, firing with bad in Shout out as well to Siko's coach of Mzile as well, who is also the coach of Leduma Lamati. He's done phenomenal work with both of these boxes. I actually haven't seen Ooh, that brilliant and shot and there. A big right hand lands. Oh, well, there we go. Ron from Kabuto. It looks like sequence could potentially end this. He needs to get to the corner quickly though and step on his opportunity. Denmark had very shaky legs there. But after a long count, let's see if he's recovered. Can sequence what well, does sequence choose to go sit on top of him? Kubito saying, Come, but he looks hurt. Kubito, he does look good, but sequence didn't look like he wants to step on the gas, he's trying to play it safe. And I think he knows now he's got two knockdowns in the bag, he doesn't really need to do much. Well, that's that's not going to deter him, he wants to go for it. That championship mentality, right? Here, that's what we wanted to see from a lot of our boxes. Loving this, loving this. I mean, it. Uh, 12 seconds left in the fight. Hand goes up from Siko. He believes he's got this. And he screams in excitement, jumps up on the ropes. Not hiding his feeling and the ecstaticness. Wow, I mean, he is, a, I mean, he deserves to do that. You know, what a performance. What a performance. We have to be proud of our hometown guy in Gotole and uh, Denmark. Give him a round of applause. The man came all the way from the Philippines with a sturdy performance. And uh, you can only wait to see how it all ended up here tonight. Oh, no, you know what? A beautiful night of boxing right here. You know, it all culminated in this main event. And this main event uh, proved, uh, proved worthy as well. Well, Kabuto wants to step out the ring. He, I think he knows the results of the fight, but his coach is saying, come, let's stay in the ring. We need the official uh, readout of the scorecard. All right, and I mean, you've got the ring filling up now. You've got uh, Siko's crowd coming in. With a slow-mo coming up of that last round, and there is that right hand, the one that gets the attention of Kabito. It shakes the leg there. And then he brings it again, a nice right hand. It doesn't land clearly, but you can see the legs are gone there from Kabito, and he lost a little bit of balance. There's it again. Big right hand from Gotole right at the end of the 12th round. And I think that's going to be a, and put a big stamp on this fight. He got the knockdown earlier in the fight. And with the second knockdown in his favor, I think it's going to be a, a, a wild stretch. Everyone's going to be getting ready, coming into the ring. Prepping to hear who won the fight and what the judges think. We're over to Devin Curra for the results. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before I read out the results of tonight's main event, can we please get a round of applause for both of these fighters? And I'd also like to acknowledge the presence of BSA board member here tonight, Gilberto Martins, as well as South Africa's lone world champion, Sibonate, the special one on Shinga. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Handing over the belt to the winner will be the director of marketing for our sponsor, Play.coza, Bianca Ace. Thank you very much for joining us here tonight. And to the judges' scorecards, we go.
For Mesa Zinekila, scores about 120 to 106. Patrick Mukundila scores about 119 to 107. Yep, for Nibanezen scoring the bout, 120 to 106. All to your winner, by way of unanimous decision victory, and new WBO Global Junior Bantamweight Champion, fighting out of South Africa, Siko Sequen. And there you go, the new champion, the title holder.